Hey guys, this is Justin with Landscaping Entrepreneur. Uh, people seem to like my little review of Gusto video, so I'm going to do another one in uh, better detail. So Gusto is a payroll service. Uh, you log in, this is what you see. Uh, the reason I switched over to Gusto was because of their automated recruiting system um, in which you don't have to collect paperwork, and I thought that was awesome. All you do is, um, is input. You go here, you go to people, hire, and all you have to do is click Add Employee, and all this is the only information you really need to fill in is the first name, hiring date, manager, work address, email, of what they get paid. And basically, if I were to do that, do save and continue, you don't have to type in any of their withholdings, their address, any of that stuff. Um, really, all you need is first and last name, their email address. It emails them all the documentation, and they don't get paid until they get their stuff in. So it really, that alone, that was my sell, like so much value to that. Uh, that I didn't have to chase people down for paperwork. Uh, it took away a ton of administrative. It was only a little bit more than our existing payroll service. So that's why I did it. Um, that's obviously still a huge pro. Uh, one of the cons was my last payroll company would let me, uh, our payroll went out on Friday. We could submit payroll up until Thursday at 4 o'clock. Um, with Gusto, I didn't realize, but they, they make you submit payroll on Monday which created you know a rush for getting our stuff our payroll submitted monday's usually busy for us anyway and then also the money came out on tuesday and that for cash flow that hurt because we get all of our cash in on thursdays by credit card <clears throat> so we kind of had to reorganize things anyway so that that was a major drawback all i ended up doing was i take it just set our cash flow back one week i take the money we got in the week before and then i would use that for payroll so that solved that problem um, but another pro of it is these surveys. This is really cool. So it takes, it, when every time you do it, it's an option you can add in, but it, it takes surveys of how happy employees are. So it's pretty interesting to take them. They give you a little um, reports of of how happy people were. So that that's a really cool thing. <clears throat> the other thing we had, because these little things when you log in, but um these employee vacations, so a way to manage time off. It's amazing because um, we didn't have a good system for it, and now we do it right through here. So basically, the people log into their own personal Gusto account where they can access all the pay stubs. They don't have to ask you where they are, when are we getting paid next. They get cute little emails about it, which I can show you. But uh, So anyway, they request their time off right through Gusto, and... Uh, and when they request the time off, it, it, it creates a notification here. Uh, so obviously, one of the huge drawbacks of that is that they get paid, well, not obviously, but they're getting paid for um, the time off when they request the time off. So there's no option for that. And you can see, see paid time off. We say that for the, the year, they only get, you know, they don't get any paid time off, but we found out later that People were actually getting paid for it, even though we said their time off was was zero hours. So, anyways, that's that was definitely a drawback. Um, the reports are really good. Um, when you check out, it's like it's like Amazon. You know, it tells you exactly what your taxes are going to be. Um, you know, exactly. It's like checking out on Amazon. I tell you, all, they laid down all the expenses and the total cost. You know, I didn't used to have that before either. So, um, yeah, that's basically most of the drawbacks and benefits. Um, can't really think of anything else right now, but, but overall, I, I, would, I would still recommend Gusto. Um, you know, for, they do have a lot of good things, and the, I guess the major drawbacks were just the, the time off thing, which if you're aware of it and watch this video, you now know to look out for that. Even if you say they get zero hours off per year, Gusto's going to give them time off, uh, paid time off. Um, and then also, obviously, uh, getting uh, the, the cash flow thing. Cash flow thing was an issue. Oh, one last thing I just thought of. There's no administrative. Um, there, at the moment, there's only one login. And and my my administrator, office administrator who runs payroll, they can now see pay rates. And they didn't used to on my old payroll service. They would just see a number of hours. So that's an issue because now my office administrator knows what everyone gets paid, which I really don't want because it just creates drama. But anyway, that's the pros and cons of Gusto's. I hope of Gusto, and I hope you guys found this video helpful.